Hey guys, what's up? Nico again here. In this video, we're going to review the Eligumars LCD Resin 3D printer. Let's go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Nico. Welcome back. Hope you guys, you guys had a good holiday season. Um, before we get started, I want to talk to you guys about the 3D printing forum. Um, it's something that we built because I know I'm part of a lot of Facebook groups and so I wanted a place where you can just have everything all in one, um, super easy to search uh, in, 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 in as far as information goes. So if you guys want to check that out, go to the description down below. I just go to 3D Printing Forum, sign up. If you have any questions about 3D printing, if you want to show off your makes or anything like that, uh, questions, comments, concerns, uh, I think that is the best place for us to do it instead of having all these other Facebook groups um, and being part of so many of them. It puts everything all in one place and it makes everything so much easier. So um, there's that. All right, so let's get right to it. This printer is freaking phenomenal. Um, so when I got this, uh, it's perfect right off the box. It took me about five to 10 minutes to set it up. Um, right off the box, you just go. If you have your resin, uh, I think it came with some resin. Uh, I'm not sure uh, because I bought some Suriatec, uh fast, re uh, fast Hearing Resin, the gray one, and I used that. And um, when you first get the machine, um, the, the USB uh, drive has files in it. And what's in there is this Rook. And let me tell you guys, this Rook came out phenomenal. Straight out the box, um, I just leveled it, which is super, super easy, you guys. It's even easier than leveling um, a CR10 or an, or an FDM printer. Um, so it came out really, really, really nice, you guys. No, um, there's no layer lines if you guys can see that. I know I have really terrible lighting here in the in the workshop, but look at that. There's there's nothing on that thing, man. That thing is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So after I printed this out, um, I went and tested it on one of my files. So what I wanted to do was test it on something that's going to have a lot of detail, very small detail, and um, I chose the John Wick coin. Man, that came out freaking fantastic. Now, this has already been painted, um, but look at how this turned out, you guys. Holy mackerel. This thing, I, I I don't know why it took me so long to get a resin 3D printer, but man, I'm so glad I did. Oh my goodness. So, now, another thing. So. I tested it on, I'm 3D printing this, the Razor Crest from, from the Mandalorian. Um, and so I wanted to test it and see how really, how well it would really do um, on this landing gear. And let me tell you guys, I just gotta show you. This Mars even got the details on the landing gear cables. I mean, seriously, that's not even fair, man. Look at that. Look at that, golly! And look, this is that's really thin for um, the landing gear cover. Oh my goodness, you guys! This machine is so so nice. It's so well made. It's super easy right out of the box. It prints in phenomenal detail, as you guys can very well see right there. And man, the only drawback to this is the small build plate. If this build plate had a 12 by 12 build plate. I'd have an army of these things. Look at this thing, oh my goodness. All right, so what would I use this machine for? Obviously, the bed's too small for some for any helmets or, or any pieces like that, right? Um, I would use it for figures like this. I know Goku has no arms right now. Um, but yeah, this thing came out fantastic. Holy crap. This thing came out great. Um, I, I, I wish I, I had the arms. Um, they're in here somewhere, but man, they came out fantastic. So that's what I would use this for. Um, this is about a an eight inch piece, maybe nine and a half. Um, and it's it's broken in pieces, so it's it's easy enough to glue together and 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 put it back together after you print it. So you can still make larger pieces. So um, what's the verdict on this? This is a must buy, you guys. At two is it two fifty or or two eighty? Man, that is a steal for this kind of machine that can put out this kind of quality prints at just a phenomenal, phenomenal rate. So 
why would I, well, I want a second one. I'm probably going to buy a second or third one just so I can crank these out and make more of my figures. All right, so before I let you guys go, the resin that I use is the Soraya Tech Fast Grate. Um, it's, 20, it's about 20 bucks for um, two of these on Amazon. I'm going to link it uh, in the description below where to get these as well as uh, the printer. Anyway, this thing is really, really nice. That's what I printed the, um, the Rook in and the, um, the landing gear. So it, it, it prints really well. It's really, really nice. And um, yeah, it's, just, it, it's my go-to resin. The reason because it, it, I, I only go with gray is because I'm going to paint my figures anyway. So it doesn't matter what color it comes out of. I just, you're going to get this anyway. And this, this thing really performs really, really well. So that's it. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and the subscribe down below. Make sure you hit that bell so you guys get a notification when I come up with another video. All the links to buy all this stuff is in the description below. And uh, yes, there are affiliate links. And um, that's it, man. Just want to say thank you. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.